area. So first the figure is saying 4 cm and 5 cm. The three sides are 4, 5, 6 cm. Construct an isosceles triangle. What is the isosceles triangle children? If two sides are equal, that triangle is isosceles triangle. If two sides of a triangle are equal, then it is called isosceles triangle. You already studied the eighth standard. How we can construct an isosceles triangle? If you draw a line and draw the perpendicular bisector, take more than half length, draw two marks from both sides, draw the perpendicular bisector. This line is called bisector, perpendicular bisector. Then mark a point anywhere on this line, we get different isosceles triangles. You remember this figure children? In 8th standard, you already studied that. When we join any point of the perpendicular bisector to the end points of the base, we get isosceles triangle. We can apply this theorem here. Here, this is our base. A, B is our base. Now, using combus, we can draw the perpendicular bisector. Place the combus. Take more than half length and draw two arms. Draw two arms. Now join the points. We get a perpendicular bisector. Now you already know they have equal area. So you must draw a line parallel to the base. Draw a line parallel to the base. So we can apply the same rule using set square and scale. Move through this and it will cut at C. Now this parallel line and perpendicular line meet at a point that is called D. Now draw triangle ABD. When we measure we can see that AD and BD are equal also it is an isosceles triangle. So this is the method of drawing an isosceles triangle equal in area to the given triangle. You understand? This is a method of drawing an isosceles triangle equal in area to the given triangle. Now, we can take the fourth question. Fourth question, consider a triangle, left side 8 cm. Only one side is given, left side 8 cm. So, we can take the same figure, 4 cm base, 5, 6. First the given triangle, then take one side, left side 8 cm, but they have equal area. Now first of all, draw a line parallel to the base. Using set square and scale, I uh, already explained, using set square and scale, you can draw a line parallel to the base. Parallel to the base. Then, Then take left side edge. You see quadrilateral. No. You see compass. You take the compass. Take eight centimeter from A. Draw an arc of eight centimeter. Draw an arc of eight centimeter. Mark this point as D. Join A, D, and B, D. We get the triangle. The required triangle is left side eight centimeter and other sides are say four and six. Other sides are 6 feet on a 4. One side base is 4 and left side is 7. So this triangle has area equal to the given triangle. So listen, the first set of questions are over. Now next question which is your homework. Draw a triangle using the long set square and draw an isosceles triangle of equal area. So this is your long set square your large set square. You can draw a triangle using this set square, the edges of the set square. Then construct an isosceles triangle having same area. So you do it as homework. Then all of the figures you have to write down or draw neatly in your notebook and show me on the opening time. Then next question we can continue. Draw triangle ABC with A B 5 cm, angle A 50 degree and angle B 60 degree. A B 5 cm, 
सेंटीमीटर यूजिंग स्केल टू मेजर ए बी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एम ए फिफ्टी डिग्री पोट्रैक्टर फेस द पोट्रैक्टर यू नो हाउ टू टेक फिफ्टी डिग्री टेक द पोट्रैक्टर देन एट रेड रेड मार्क वन ए एंड टेक फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड ऑन द अदर साइड टेक सिक्सटी डिग्री Take care. When you take the measure, listen carefully. There are two scales: inner scale and outer scale. You take the correct measure. Then 50 degree and 60 degree. So this is our given triangle. Then draw an isosceles triangle of equal area. This is very important, children. Draw an isosceles triangle of equal area. You know. If the areas are equal, then base you are drawing a line parallel to the base, and the third vertex lies on the parallel line. So first, you draw a line parallel to AB through C. Then draw the perpendicular bisect of AB. You see, compass. Draw the perpendicular bisect of AB. It will meet the parallel line at the point D. You can mark it as D. Join to A and B. We get a new triangle A B D. This is our isosceles triangle. Equal in area to the given triangle A B C. Now look at the next question. Construct a triangle with angle A 100 degree and equal in area to the first triangle. So first of all, we can construct the same figure. AB five centimeter, angle A fifty degree, angle B sixty degree, and this is our triangle ABC. We have to construct a triangle with angle A hundred degree. So you see, for triangle, you can take hundred degree, angle A hundred degree.
here also this point also and join to b triangle a b e is the triangle equal in area to the given triangle a b c so there we get two triangles two triangles of same area with the given triangle triangle a b c 